Is time travel possible? In fact, it is useful to divide this question into two. Is it possible to travel to the future? Is it possible to travel to the past? One of these trips is really possible. Brian Greene, a professor of physics and mathematics at Columbia University, relayed what we know about time travel so far at the World Science Festival. Greene divided time travel into two types. Saying that these two different journeys are completely different from each other, the professor said that the journey to the future is currently completely possible from a scientific point of view, only technology needs to catch up with it. Explaining that Einstein showed us how to do this a century ago, Green said that, as we told you in our previous news, time will slow down as we approach the speed of light, and a clock that passes normally for us can be equivalent to hundreds of years for people living at a normal speed. According to Green's explanations, apart from the speed of light, gravity also has the power to travel forward in time. Even time will bend and slow down if you approach an object such as a neutron star, a black hole. These are theories that are no longer being discussed and even kind of proven. It has been proven in the Apollo missions that accelerating astronauts go into the future, albeit very, very small value. That is why any physicist, regardless of the subject, accept such topics. When it comes to going back in time, things get complicated here. Many people, including scientists, argue that it is impossible to decipher the past. Those who believe in this, on the other hand, think that going back in time can be achieved through a wormhole. The name behind this is Einstein again. When I think about it, it seems that the man has almost defined physics from the beginning with his own thoughts. The wormhole allows us to create bridges to go from place to place. The idea, which was first put forward in 1935, was used in many films and TV series in this process. According to Green's explanations, if you put this wormhole next to a black hole or if you move at the speed of light inside the wormhole, you can get the opportunity to reach different moments of time instead of going from one place to another in the two openings of the tunnel. Here you can travel to the past if you want, or to the future if you want. To sum up, it is not known whether wormholes are real or not. Even if it is real, we don't know if it will meet all our expectations. There is a general uncertainty here. Brian Greene notes that both types of travel may be possible in this regard, but one of them has concrete evidence, while the other has yet to be verified evidence. If time travel is possible, did these people really travel in time? Here are five of the people who say they travel in time. 5. John Titer. A photograph from 1941 shows a young man in a suit and hat in the middle of a crowd who does not seem to belong there. He appears to be wearing new style sunglasses and something similar to a t-shirt, and he has a portable camera in his hand. It turned out that the glasses were strange, but not unknown for their time, and the t-shirt with the letter T on it was actually a sweater with a letter sewn on it, as is the case with sports teams. The camera itself was also a Kodak foldable pocket model. Nevertheless, these belong to 10 years before the concept of youth was formed, so let's appreciate the personality of this young man, who shows that he is advanced for his time. The strangely dressed man in this photo, taken in the British Columbia region of Canada in 1941, has been one of the most popular faces on the internet for many years. Despite this, it is not known who he is, why he dresses so differently from other people around him. Asaker that his style belongs to the 2000s, not to the year he is in. Moreover, he is holding a device that looks like a camera in his hand. John Titer claims to have traveled from the year 2036 to the years 1975 and 2000. 4. A police officer went from 1996 to the 1950s. In 1996, a police officer and his wife were shopping in Liverpool. While they were going to a CD store down the street, his wife walked into a bookstore. As the policeman was walking away from the bookstore, he noticed that everything suddenly became quiet. 
Then a van from the 1950s turned around, honking its horn. Somehow, he was standing in the middle of the street, and what's even more interesting than that, everyone around him was wearing 50s-style clothes. The policeman was confused, tried to go back to the bookstore, but he was not there. Instead, there was a women's clothing store called Crips. So he went into the clothing store, and as soon as he walked in, the store became a bookstore again. The police had gone back to 1996, but could not understand what was happening. After doing some research, he found out that Crips closed after the 1950s. 3. A military pilot sees a futuristic plane. Air Marshal Sir Robert Victor Goddard was sent to inspect an abandoned airfield in Edinburgh in 1935. The airport was in a dilapidated state and he took note of what he saw. He then got back in his plane and took off, but couldn't get far because of heavy rain and low visibility. Therefore, he returned to the airport to wait for the storm to pass. But as we approached the landing strip, something very strange happened. The clouds dispersed, the sun suddenly appeared and shone brightly, and he saw that the previously abandoned land was now filled with mechanics in blue overalls. There were also four yellow planes on the runway, and one of them was the kind he had never seen before. Remember, this man was a military pilot. He was quite familiar with all the different models of aircraft that were available at that time. Goddard was completely confused. Had he imagined these things? Was he hallucinating or was this a dream? There was no way that what he saw was real. Goddard was sent back to the airfield four years later. Far from being abandoned, mechanics in blue overalls had completed the yellow planes, and the plane Goddard could not identify in 1935 was sitting on the runway. That plane was a Miles Magister. The Magister was first produced in 1938, three years after Goddard first saw it. 2. Rudolf Fentz In the year 1950, a man with a favorite, mutton-chop, style on his face and Victorian-era clothes suddenly appears in Times Square. Witnesses said he had a confused look, and a minute later he was hit by a car and died. The police have 19 on this person that they found money from the 18th century, a letter dated 1876 and business cards with his name written on them, Mr. Rudolf Fentz. None of these objects seem to be obsolete. A trace of Mrs. Rudolf Fentz was found, and that's Rudolf Fentz Jr. She was the widow of, and according to the story, De Jr.'s father mysteriously disappeared in 1876. 1. The man from Taurad suddenly disappeared. A man trying to pass through customs at Haneda Airport in Tokyo, Japan, in 1954 had some trouble with customs officials. The reason for the problem was not that he forgot to declare something on the customs form. Trouble had arisen because he claimed to be from a non-existent country and had a passport and stamps to prove it. His passport was from a country called Taurad, which he claimed was between Spain and France. December. When the customs officers took out a map and asked if he meant Andorra, the man was very angry. He said the location shown by customs officials was correct, but Taurad had existed for at least 1,000 years. He had never heard of Andorra. They booked a hotel room for the man for one night while the police tried to figure out what was going on. Although armed guards had been placed outside his room, the man had disappeared the next morning. His passport, stored in the security office at the airport, was also gone. Authorities have never been able to solve the mystery of the man from Taurad. This event, which is one of the time travel stories, has never been experienced like this again. What do you think about time travel? Do you think we will be able to travel in time soon? I am waiting for your thoughts in the comments. If you liked the video, please don't forget to subscribe.